Uh, Lucy Thomas, the campaign director for Business for New Year, which is a pro-European business group, joins me now. What do you make of the comments? Well, I think what's interesting is that Goldman Sachs is just one of over 250 foreign banks based in London, employing over 160,000 people. So although this may be one president speaking out, we hear um, at Business for New, New, New Europe of lots of others making the same point, which is simply that if the UK weren't in the EU, they wouldn't have access to the rest of the EU markets via the single financial passport. But is it right for people who run banks to double like this, do you think? Well, he's making a point about his risk register and what he sees as, as benefiting his business. He's not telling people how to vote in a referendum. He's not saying what any particular politician should do. He's saying that this is how it affects his business. He's not going to move, though, is he? Well, he didn't say that everyone would go overnight. He, he hasn't said that, and, and nor have others. I think the point is they would practically have to change their resources, their capital and their human resources, um, in order to be able to trade with the rest of the EU. Wouldn't leaving the EU, though, mean less red tape for companies such as Goldman Sachs, which is something banks actually like, less no, red tape? No, absolutely not, because in order to trade with the rest of the EU, you still have to abide by those rules. So Switzerland, for example, lots of people say, oh, that would be a good example to follow. They actually have to have subsidiaries here in order to be able to access those markets. And we also hear that several banks are looking at property in other EU member states in order to be ready. So I don't think that they're empty threats. As I say, I I don't think they disappear overnight, but it, it's absolutely something that they're considering in order to be able to trade. It's quite strong wording, isn't it, what he's saying about the, the, the image of the city of London perhaps being destroyed? Yes, absolutely, because we've always been outward looking um, and a third of the trade that the UK does with the rest of the world is with the EU. So it's a, a pure practicality that they have to be able to do that and to get into those markets and to apply those rules. So you're either at the table when those negotiations are going on about those rules or you're outside, like Switzerland or Norway, who still have to apply those rules. So we might as well be making our case. But in many ways, his case is something that suits him and perhaps other banks. You know, that, that suits it suits me for the UK to stay in the EU, is what he's saying. Um, therefore, it might not suit somebody else. It's just his opinion. Well, actually, uh, manufacturers, um, automotive manufacturers, for example, and the whole of their supply chains, they would suddenly face tariffs on their exports as well if the UK were to leave. I mean, there are manifest implications on, of policy on, on many other sectors, not just the banking sector. OK. Lucy Thomas, thank you. Thank you.